and you know the street profits I, I love those guys man they they bring out a lot of energy a lot of charisma and uh you know again they i wish somebody i wish these guys were back in the attitude era to be able to create history with those guys because again I, it was a very very good match Oh, yeah. Uh, you guys had the Brooklyn crowd eating out of the palm of your hands. Uh, the Street Profits winning. Uh, got that huge ovation. And I loved I-, I loved what I saw. I was entertained by it. But, uh, again, I kind of wanted to bring that up because, you know, you, you uh, in text mentioned that you were a little nervous about it. So it's actually nice to know that you're human, Devon. <laughs> I think a lot of people don't think I'm human. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's just, again... You, you know, Vince expects so much out of you. Mm-hmm. And there are a lot of people that like to say things, you know, that, oh, he's a hard ass, oh, he's a prick, and he's this and he's that. And, uh, you know, I'm going to have to agree with a lot of them <laughs> and, and say that that probably is the case. But you know something? The man has a product that he feels very strong about. He has visions that he wants. And he wants to get it across. And the man's track record speaks for itself. He didn't get this far and take this company from his father by being light or letting talent take over. By being a Um, a pushover, yeah. Right. That didn't happen. Vince had to be Vince. He had to be Mr. McMahon. Um, he's like that in the meetings, you know, he wants things done, but he wants it correctly. One of the things I like about one of the things he's doing, even with me is that he's making me challenge myself. You know, uh, you know, you're, you know, he tells me, you know, Yvonne, you're in a bit, you're a visionary, you know, think, you know, why does this go together with that? And that goes together with this. Always look at everything around you, you know, when you're putting something together, um, as opposed to just putting it together, but not making sure that everything links up. Mm. And he he's like that. I am a fan of any organization that is either trying to compete with WWE or trying to make it whatever. Um, and, 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 I, and I say this because, you know, AEW, I think a lot of people are pulling for them. Uh, because of the fact they don't want, you know, WWE to be the only game in town. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's something new in Byron, and I get it. It's all, it's like WCW, you know, when, you know, they were bought from um, when Crockett sold it to uh, Turner. Mm-hmm. And, of course, it went from NWA to uh, WCW. Um, I, I just feel that when you watch the product between AEW and the WWE, um, you're watching two different shows. Oh yeah, you know, sure. Vince, Vince is definitely in the in the mood for storytelling. Um, he wants to grasp at the people's heartstrings. He wants to, you know, really put on that soap opera. Where I feel that AEW, uh, with the exception of the guys in the main event, and I hate to say it, but it's like a spot fest to a certain degree. And again, it, it's I'm not taking anything away from the product and what they're doing. Not at all. That's their cup of tea and that's what they choose to do. And the WWE chooses to do what they choose to do. That's why it's always good to have different because when you have something that's different, a lot of people can relate to one or the other. And so AEW has their following. The WWE has their following. I've always grown up on WWE television. I've always grown up, um, you know, with the storylines and, you know, how they would captivate an audience and you as an individual uh, to be hooked to the story uh, more than the spots in the ring. That's just my cup of tea, you know. So I, I think the the, the, the WWE basically um, really, really can make things happen um, with people, you know, being hooked when you do things like that. You look at any television show, any soap opera. I mean, hell, I was a grown man at one point watching all my children. Loved it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because it was uh, it was a soap opera. And yeah. whoever, whatever was going on at the time caught my attention. Um, it's, a, it's like a movie. And that's exactly what the WWE gives. So 
to me, you know, leading up to that match, you know, I wanted to make sure that we did that for the people, that we, you know, pulled at their heartstrings, we were able to hold their attention, and this and that. There's no question in my mind, Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, the, the Street Profits can, you know, Buddy Murphy could, could do that, and they did. You know, and again, I'm not going to leave out AOP either because they were big and instrumental in that match on Monday as well. Um, but it's just something that the WWE has been doing for years and has been very, very successful at it. And say what you want, like I said about Vince, but he's a storyteller and he he's a businessman and he just he knows how to get people. Sure. Now, is that uh, this tag match, is this the, the only uh, production uh, producer efforts you had this week, or is this just one of a couple? That was just, that. well, for that particular show, that was okay. the one that I had. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, and sometimes, you know, us as producers, you know, we might get two. And, you know, very rare to get three of them. But, you know, it, but it all depends, too. Sometimes if you do 205 Live, uh, with SmackDown, you might be on. You might be doing SmackDown and 205 Live. You know, we have main event and then Monday Night Raw. You might, you know, and and you might do something on main event and you might do a few things on Raw. Okay. You know, uh, backstage stuff as well. You know, that's one of the things that, um, you know, the the interviews and things like that, especially if there's physicality of any sort. You know, there are certain producers that will, you know, handle that. So it's very very interesting on on how the company, you know, uh, does things. And, you know, again, you would think we have come such a long way from the Hogan and Andre era and the, the, the San Martino and, and Backlund era, to, you know, to today and how so involved and hands-on everything is now. So you have a producer or producers that, as you said, will do the physicality. Uh, let me guess: if they have any, uh, if they need a seduction or a romance segment, they go to Devon. Well, they can, but you might not <laughs> like how my story ends. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, that's fair. P- p- listen, pushing the envelope is an understatement. If I was, if I had. To- Okay. We we would lose a lot of sponsors. I'm just saying. People running around naked. I mean, it was sad. 